Throughout the pandemic, conspiracy theories have been spreading across the internet. But one man has been speaking out against his own mother after she became one of the leading proponents of fake news. Now, Sebastian Shemirani says he's worried about the impact his mother is having. Mariana Spring reports. My brother rings me and he says, Sebastian, I think we've got a problem. Uh, you know, mum's got 40,000 YouTube followers. And, uh, you know, at that point, my face just dropped. I knew immediately what was going on. Sebastian is 21 from East Sussex, and his mum, Kate Shemirani, has become notorious for spreading conspiracy theories during the pandemic. What she's doing is dangerous. You nurses dancing, I'm coming for you. This is her five minutes of fame. You will stand trial for genocide. I don't want to be here talking about, you know, but it's something I think we've got to do before these ideas get bigger and more people fall down the same route that she's trying to take them down. You can only prevent it before it happens. Now a suspended nurse, she has become a headliner at anti-lockdown rallies it's COVID yep. and promoted baseless conspiracy theories about 5G, vaccines and the pandemic. That's going to go into your DNA, it's going to change you forever, which means that you are no longer of the creator, they can put a patent on you and you cannot be genocided. Sebastian's concerns are about public health. There is no evidence to back up claims his mum makes about 5G and coronavirus, which have been linked to real-world damage, and she encourages followers to ignore health guidance. The BBC put Sebastian's claims to Kate Shemirani. She did not directly respond to what her son said. She did tell us, from what I can see, it would appear a conspiracy theorist is actually now anyone who believes something other than what your controllers want them to believe. I find this deeply disturbing. As a child, he says he was frequently exposed to conspiracy theories. At 17, he left home and they are now only in touch via text. When this is over in three or four years' time and everything she said is forgotten and the global genocide hasn't happened, people will forget about it. But, you know, the disaster that goes on with, with my, within my family and the relationships that she's losing now, that stuff stays forever.